welcome to this second concert of the fifth season of Just Bach. My name is Alan Muirhead. Uh, I'm a member of the leadership team. Charlie Rasmussen, who's playing cello with us today, is another member, as is Ryan Cherry, the baritone, who could not be with us today, unfortunately. Today's concert will feature Bach's Orchestral Suite Number no. 2, it's in B minor, and it's effectively a flute concerto. So we're very glad to have Linda Berekska uh, with us today to play the flute part. Uh, of course, uh, the concert will conclude with a chorale, and I invite you all to sing along with me on that, please. Uh, we will be recording this concert, and that video will be made available Friday afternoon on both the Just Bach website as well as the Luther Memorial Church website. A reminder that the concert next month will not be on the third Wednesday as our concerts usually are, but will be on December 14th. If we waited until the third Wednesday, and it's getting awfully close to Christmas. So we'll be on December 14th, and that concert will feature Rich Brown, a mezzo soprano, singing arias and also some instrumental pieces, but all with a Christmas or Advent theme. We'd like to thank Andrew Schaefer and the Luther Memorial Church staff for their generosity in making this location available to us. And also Dane Arts and the Madison Arts Commission for partially underwriting these concerts. These concerts and videos, of course, are free to everyone, but they do cost money to put on. And uh, even though we do have some grants that partially help us, uh, we still rely very heavily on your donations. So please, either uh, we have a cash box in the back you can make a donation to, but if you prefer to do something that's tax, uh, you know, tax deductible, uh, you can go to our website, justbach.org, and follow the directions there. Two final things. One is back where the donation box is, I do have some flyers about our concert series, so feel free to take one and post it wherever you, uh, you like, if in an area where you might live or you might see uh, friends that you could tell about these concerts. We would love to see more people out there. And of course, uh, if you do have a cell phone or some other noise-making device, please turn it off. And I think now, uh, just enjoy the concert. Thank you.
judge for that wonderful performance. The chorale that we're going to sing next comes from Bach's Katara 163, Nur jedem das seine, to each his own. And he composed that work in uh, Weimar. In uh, 1715, it was composed for the 23rd Sunday after Trinity, which, by the way, was last Sunday. So that's why we're singing it today. Uh, the text was written by Solomon Frank, who was the court poet in Weimar, and it's based on the gospel reading for the Sunday, which is the verse, Render unto Caesar. There's some ambiguity as to whether or not this was really what Bach had intended, because the only thing that survives uh, in the original score is the continual part, and that continual part would fit other ends as well. Um, but the general feeling is that this is the one that Bach would like. The words uh, were written by Johann Herrmann, who uh, lived about 100 years before Bach, uh, and is known as a poet and hymnist uh, in his own right. And Bach used his texts in many other cantatas as well. So you do have the text in your program. I will read through the German, and I'll point out that then when we go to sing it, there's a misprint in the score. So in the second phrase in the score, it says, Durch deinem Geset, and that word should be Geist. G-E-I-S-T. But the German, just to kind of get it in your head, is For auch mein Herz und Sinn durch deinen Geist dahin, dass ich möge alles leiden, was mich und dich kann scheiden, und ich an deinem Leibe ein Liedmaß ewig bleibe. And you can read the English. So the group here will play it through once and then we'll all sing it together.